Okay, so today I would like to talk to you guys about why I like to celebrate my bad drawing moments because most of you think I don't have bad drawing moments, which is not true at all. So a lot of times I'm in the studio drawing with my students and <clears throat> they'll say things like, you make it look so easy, all of your drawings look really good, or they'll compare their drawings to mine. And what I have to remind them, and I wanna remind you all, is that I've been drawing almost every day for about 20 years. It seems crazy that I've been drawing for that long, but that's how long I've been drawing. And I still have bad drawing moments. So it's one thing for me to say that to everybody, but what I realized was that I need to show you so a couple of weeks ago, I was drawing with a student and, you know, typically I can understand when I have a bad drawing on a Monday or later in the afternoon, because I usually teach until about 7.30 at night. So a lot of times that 6.30, 7.30 drawing that I'm doing, it's the worst one of the day. And it's just because I'm tired and I'm hungry and I want to go home and I want to eat. Um, I'm ready for dinner. So. Oftentimes I have bad drawings at those times and that's kind of understandable. But the other day I had a really bad drawing and it was 11 a.m. on a Wednesday. It was like my second lesson of the day. Um, it was the middle of the week. I was already awake and warmed up. It didn't make any sense. So I, right after the student left, it was lunchtime for me, I decided to just recycle the drawing. And then I realized while I was eating lunch, I really shouldn't recycle that drawing. I need to show it to people because you guys need to see that I have bad drawings. I need to show people this is a part of the practice. It doesn't ever just go away just because you've been drawing all the time. So I want to show you. So let's take a look down at the paper. So this is the worst drawing I've done in years. And I pulled it out of the recycling. I put it up on the wall in the studio and I put these post-its on here saying, let's celebrate my failure and ask me what I learned from this drawing. So I had switched, I had been using these Marco Ruffin pencils for probably 10 years. And the reason that I was using them was just, I could buy them individually at the Jerry's Artorama that was local. And so if I wanted 15 four B's in the studio, I could just go buy a bunch of four B's. <clears throat> um, and a couple of years ago, I decided to review different pencils and I realized that this pencil is really not the best pencil on the market. Um, particularly some of the softer pencils of this brand have little snags in the, in the graphite. Like there's some inconsistency in the material and there'll be a rough spot that grabs the paper. So I started drawing this drawing. I intended it to look like this drawing. Let's see if you guys can see both of these at the same time. I wanted it to look like this, but it did not turn out that way. I kept getting so dark and darker and darker, and I kept erasing with the gummy, and then I would pull some out and put some back in, and I just could never recover from it. And what I learned was that this brand of pencil, if it's inconsistent, that inconsistency tends to run all the way through the pencil. So no matter how much I sharpened, I couldn't get rid of it. And it was just not workable. So I have bad drawings too. I want you guys to know that that's just a part of the practice. Think of it like somebody who's in a professional sporting um, profession and professional sporting profession, of course, <laughs> um, <laughs> department of redundancy department. Um, so if, if somebody's practicing sports, they're going to have off days. They're going to have games that they lose. They're going to have moments where they jump off that um, ski jump and they crash and burn. So everybody has poor performance days when they're doing something that's as physically involved as making artwork is. Um, so I just want you to know that I have bad days. I expect you to have bad days. You'll even have moments within a good day where you really make some poor choices or you have less um, control over your motor skills and know that that's just a full spectrum experience that's a part of being a professional artist or it's a part of being a, a practicing artist and i don't want that to deter you so now you know that there's evidence <laughs> that i have bad drawing moments too 
and don't be ashamed of them. Let's celebrate them together and move on and make better drawings together too.